Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video that I haven't ever done on my channel, which honestly is such a crime because I've been on YouTube for like four years and I've never done this video. So I don't know how I haven't, but I wanted to do the 50 random facts tag because I don't do a lot of Q and A's and I haven't like sat down and talked to y'all in a minute. So I want to do that. Just talk about me <laughs> so you guys can get to know me a little bit better because I'm such a conceited little bitch sometimes. No, I just want you guys to get to know me a little bit better and um, feel like we're friends. Also, my last fact, honestly, like I'm really sharing, uh, I'm sharing a fun fact. Like I'd really, I would highly recommend Instagram for the last one because it's, um, it's quite the story. So yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you guys don't miss any other videos. The video or the button is right down there to subscribe. It's over here or it's over here. It's, I don't, I can't figure that out. It's somewhere over here. Just click it. Be sure to follow me on Snapchat and on Instagram and on Twitter. My Twitter and Instagram is at Tori Sterling. Be sure to follow me. And also my Snapchat is MacUp101, but it's in the process of being changed to Tori Sterling. Without further ado, let's get started. College has taught me that I love cooking. Spin class is my like actual element. I hope to open a spin studio one day. That'd be really, really fun. I feel like my lighting sucks. Let's make it worse. I might have just made it worse. All right, whatever. I'm I'm still figuring out the whole dorm room sitch with filming and stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm working on it. It's going to get there. My earliest memory is me yelling for my dad in the crib. Um, When I was also younger, like maybe like six or seven, every time we'd go to my grandparents' house, I would, me and my sister would jam out to Garth Brooks' Friends in Low Places. That was like our shit. Like we loved that song and I don't know why. I would have the best birthday parties growing up. Shout out to my mom because she was so creative. I literally had the best birthday parties. Like in seventh grade, I had the spa birthday party and we all had like pedicures and like at-home facials. Like it was so fun. And then in like first or second grade, I think it was first grade, my like good family friend came over and like did everyone's hair and like we all had makeup and it was really fun too and then one year we had a photo shoot and then we made scrapbooks of all like the photo shoot pictures we just took that was really fun and then I had I was obsessed with the amazing race so I had an amazing race birthday party one time and that was so fun so like I had really good birthday parties I hate when the front of my hair is flat like right now it's not flat because it has like this little like volume to it but when my hair is like really flat I don't know I hate it and like I have to shower like my hair is totally fine like a week without showering and like I don't need to but then as soon as like right here gets flat I don't wear my hair down I can only brush my teeth with cold water you will never catch me brushing my teeth with hot water along the same lines I can only drink cold water like I absolutely hate room temperature water okay i know this sounds like so melodramatic but like it's true when i read the book skinny bitch it literally changed my life okay like if you're wanting to get fit or if you're wanting to go vegan or if you're like me and you weren't even vegan before and then you read skinny bitch and then you're vegan after um just read it like honest it changed my life like my entire outlook on life is changed i need to stop touching my hair i get inspired really really easily like i i will be reading a book or i'll like watch someone's youtube video and it, like inspires me and i want to do it right away and like i'm very impulsive about that so like lately my new thing is like my instagram i really want my instagram to be like a super makeup account so if you guys like that follow my instagram because that's like the goal right now um i'm still gonna post like college pictures and stuff because obviously like I'm in college and like tonight I have a swap with the fraternity and then Saturday is a huge game day we're playing Texas A&M so obviously I'm gonna have like fun college stuff too I'm gonna post that as well but like a big focus is like gonna be Instagram think of like Lottie Tomlinson her Instagram is like really great and like kind of what I want my Instagram to be like I really thrive and I get a huge high on like being productive and stuff I literally feel like a 45 year old house mom sometimes with like a planner stuck in like an 18 year old's body because I literally just love being productive like waking up early like going on a run showering making a healthy breakfast like getting all my shit done like I thrive that's like my element okay this is really gross and a lot of people always ask me like how I keep my skin so clear and it's honest because I barely wash my face like I take my makeup off and then you know like if it's been like a week or so when I my skin like feels gross I'll wash it if it's like a heavy makeup day I'll wash it but like 
I rarely wash my face. I always get comments about my lips because they're always like so chapped and like cracked. And literally it's not because they're chapped. Like I swear to you guys, it's because I pick at them. And I've been picking at my lips since I was in kindergarten. Like as early as I can remember, I've always been picking at my lips. I really love where I'm from. Like the town that I lived in before I came to college. And I really want to raise my family like one town over from where I'm from. Like I've always had a fascination with this one town where I am. And I really want to raise my family there. Um, but Matt, he's my boyfriend, but like obviously we're going to get married. So we're going to have a family, whatever. Um, he wants to live in Colorado. So I don't really know how that's going to work out, but I want to live where I grew up. Okay, so I have three pets at home. Two dogs, um, one Shih Tzu named Ben, I have a Black Lab Dalmatian mix named Ringo, and then I have a cat named Skipper, and I've just never been an animal person at all, which is why I rarely ever talk about my animals, ever. I'm actually the absolute worst when it comes to watching movies. Like, everyone, especially Matt, will always be like, have you seen this movie? And I'm like, no, like, I don't watch movies, and it's because I like, when I like a movie, I watch the same movie. And also, like, when I'm browsing to go, like, watch a movie or something, and if I'm on Netflix or if I'm, like, on demand, I'll watch a movie that I've already watched because I know I like it. Do you know what I mean? Along the same lines of that, whenever I go out to eat, I always order the same thing on the menu if it's, like, a restaurant that I know because I really like it, you know? I'm very proud of this one. I own the aux cord, okay? Like, literally, I own it. So if anyone from college is watching this and you go to my school give me the aux because I can like make a party so fun I promise you like all my friends know it all my friends give me the aux um, when we get ready we play like my playlist and stuff because it's so good I've gone to two fraternity parties that I've like DJed at or like DJed I've like plugged my phone in for the aux it's been great people love it it's really fun okay so this is only embarrassing like if you understand Russian and everything like that and if you like understand sorority stuff um, which I will do a video on it because like everyone is asking me to do a video on college and sorority stuff So I'm gonna do it. I just want to like know college and sorority stuff a little bit more before I do a video on it But I didn't know this but on the first day of rush at the very first house the very first girl I talked to I hugged her Okay, I don't want to talk about it, but yeah, I hugged her Okay, so the first semester of senior year was the biggest L of my life for me. I just did so many embarrassing things first semester. First off, was nominated for homecoming court, so because of that, we had to take, like, homecoming court pictures during the day, and I wore, like, six-inch six inch wedges for my picture, and then I didn't have time to change after my picture to go to my car and I was like I'm gonna be fine like I walk in wedges all the time yeah no I wasn't I tripped and I fell on my knees and as I was falling down I screamed along the way it was the slowest fall of my life and I screamed and everyone turned around and everyone saw me and then I stood up and my legs were gushing blood and I ran to my car so that was really embarrassing and then in my public speaking class we had to give a speech and mine was on a conspiracy theory of 9-11 and literally I was so nervous that at the very end of my speech it sounded like I was going to burst into tears. My voice was shaking so much it sounded like I was crying. On the contrary of that, in ninth grade, public speaking debate was like, I was so good at it, okay? Like, people literally would be like, yeah, like, if you have Tori on your team, like, you're winning. Like, I was so good at public speaking debate. Okay, so I don't know if a lot of people, people know this. Like, I know some people know this. My last name isn't Sterling. Sorry, big shock. It's actually De Simone. Um, De Simone is like my actual last name, and then Sterling's my middle name. So when I started YouTube, my mom literally didn't even want me to say my name Tori, and then like there came a point where I started saying my name, and then I had to start saying like last names for like stuff. When I signed with Style Hall and stuff, they like asked for a last name, and I don't know why, but like I thought that it might like get out or something, so I just started saying Sterling. And it's stuck, so I don't know. Like, people here at school, like, they know me through my Instagram. So they always say, oh, are you Tori Sterling? And I'm like, no, I'm Tori Simone. And it's happened one time. One time I was at a fraternity, and this one boy came up to me and was like, are you Tori Sterling? Because, like, you look just like her. And I was like, no, I'm Tori Simone. And he's like, wait, what? I'm like, yeah, Tori Sterling. She's in my pledge class, but, like, I'm Tori Simone. And he's like, oh, you look a lot like her. I'm like, yeah, I know. Everyone tells me that, but, like, that's not her. But, like, if I find her, I'll let you know that you, I'll tell her that you're looking for her. And he's like, oh, okay, thanks. Yeah. And I don't know. I fool a lot of people that way. So have a fake last name. It's pretty fun. I hate doing makeup on other people. I'm sorry. I just had to say it. I really hate it. Secrets out. I don't like doing makeup on other people. Matt does everything for me. Like, everything. Everything you possibly imagine he does for me. He's, like, the best boyfriend in the entire world. Anything I want, he does for me. And when I, like, had to move when I had to like drive down to college, 
and I had to say bye to him, I was a mess. I was crying my eyes out, like, whatever. I was a mess. And then my family stopped at Panera, like, in Maryland or something, and we ate Panera, and I had to take my own dishes up, because Matt normally does that for me. Like, when we go out and eat, like, at Panera or, like, Qdoba or whatever, he'll take my dishes up for me. But I had to take my dishes up for me, and I burst into tears. I was, like, bawling my eyes. I was like, <laughs> Matt would do this. I was crying so hard. It was a mess. It was a low point, crying in Panera. To this day, I'm still scared of the dark. Unless someone else is, like, sleeping in the room with me and is, like, in there while I'm falling asleep, I cannot sleep in the dark. I cannot be in the dark. I just hate the dark. I read One Direction fan fiction in 10th grade. In 8th grade we had sex ed and I was so uncomfortable that I had to sit out. <laughs> okay, this is kind of funny. So in 7th grade I convinced myself that I was a chronic fainter and that I would always faint at the drop of blood. I don't know why I thought this because I never fainted ever once in my life. Along the same lines, I'm very obsessed with Grey's Anatomy but like who isn't? You know, I love Grey's Anatomy. At one point, um, I was a boss to my best friend. I don't think she was too happy about it, but like, we worked at the same place and I was a manager and I was her manager, so I was her boss. <laughs> the summer going into seventh grade, I watched a Cinderella story every single night on my iPad with the pink case on it. And at four in the morning, because I would stay up all night watching it, and I'd watch it like over and over and over again, and I couldn't ever sleep that summer. I don't know why, but um, I stayed up every single night watching it, and then at four a.m. every single night, I would go downstairs and I get an like an oatmeal raisin breakfast cookie, and I would eat it. In eighth grade, I was super underweight, even with all those cookies from the previous summer. I was super super underweight, and I got to eat and drink. Um, like protein shakes in class, which was a huge deal. I got to do it in math class every day and everyone was really jealous of me. I used to love driving. Like every time my friends would want to go somewhere, I'd be like, I'll drive, you know, whatever. Like I love doing it. And then I started dating Matt and then he started driving me everywhere and now I absolutely hate driving. I'm very excited to like be a mom and have kids and have a family and everything. Ask me three years ago, I would have been like, no, I'm not having kids. I'm not getting married, like all that stuff. But now I'm so excited for it. Like I just can't wait for it. With that being said, I'm still like dreading the kiss on my wedding day and I don't know why it's just like the thought of me like kissing Matt in front of everyone it just honestly like I don't know it like freaks me out my dad my grandpa like I don't know it's just it makes me uncomfortable I know everyone says this but I'm like super obsessed with Christmas and it's literally the best time of the year like I don't have a count on my phone or anything but I love Christmas like anytime there's an opportunity to do something like Christmas related I'm in. My gym teacher in fourth grade used to give me packs of gum, like minimum once a week, like the full packs, like he'd buy them to give to me. My seventh grade history teacher would write me notes and I would write him notes back. It wasn't weird at all, but like we would just write each other notes, like long, like page long notes. My sixth grade teacher bought me a book. All three of those were guide teachers. Is that remember 2014 me? I thought I was so cool and so edgy. Literally, I'm the farthest thing from that, but I think that was a really cool phase. Like I'm glad I had that phase. It was cool. I'm thinking of getting tape and hair extensions. Right now I have clip-ins and they're like super, super long. So obviously my tape-ins are gonna be shorter than this, probably like this length or something. But um yeah, I'm thinking of getting tape-ins, so let me know in the comments like if they're good, because I really do want to know. When I was little, I had a $20 bill. Don't ask me why, because I do not know why a little child has a $20 bill. But I had a $20 bill. And I remember I went to Target and I bought a toy that was $19.95. So when I, go, when I went to ring it up, like, obviously my mom was with me. But when I went to ring it up, she was like, okay, $19.95. And my mom was like, okay, give me your $20 bill. And I was like, it's $19, not $20. And I did not understand the concept of change. And I would not, for the life of me, give up that $20 bill that I was cherishing so much. I ended up giving it up because I had to pay for it, but um, I did not understand it at all. In seventh grade, my dream, my dream was to carry a purse to school. Never did. I was also super OCD in seventh grade, and I was like heavily obsessed with Blair Fowler at this time, and she was like my life, my idol. Like she was the reason I woke up in the mornings. I was obsessed with her, right? And she did her hair care morning routine, so I wanted to do it just like her. So I timed out, ex I bought every single product she used, and I timed it out exactly. And I would practice my morning routine, like nights before school and stuff, so that I could um, do everything that she did in the morning before school, so I knew when to wake up, and so that I knew I wouldn't be late. When I was 12, and in 6th grade, I ran a 10-mile race. In 1st grade, we have a morning show, and the 4th graders, since they're the oldest in the school, the 4th graders get to report, like, all the news and stuff, and then the 1st graders get to report the weather. So it was my turn to report the weather, 
and when like when you report the weather what you do is you hold up a whiteboard and it says like 23 degrees let's say because I remember it was 23 degrees it was 23 degrees outside like the low was 23 degrees so we said the low and the high let's say the high that day was like 41 so the girl said hi today is 41 and then low today is and then they turn to me and all I have to say is 23 well I said it backwards and I said 32 and every one for the rest of the day kept telling me that I said the weather wrong and I cried I was so upset that I had one chance to make it big in school and I said the weather wrong maybe that's why I have public speaking issues you know I used to be severely 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 scared of thunderstorms like every single day I would ask my dad like what the weather was and if it's gonna rain and what the clouds were doing and stuff like that okay so one of the best things in the whole entire world that I love so much is when it snows out and like when you know school is gonna be out the next day so you like sit at home and you lock yourself at home and you know you just wear like slippers and then the snow is falling that's like my favorite thing in the entire world okay and then the last fact is a story time and it's kind of like I just want to say that I don't like um Okay, it's, it's a story time with the first time I smoked weed, okay? Because I thought it was funny, I wanted to include it. I just want to say now that I, like, don't smoke, and I never, like, really smoked a lot, like, maybe, like, three times a year. I don't know. I don't like, like, now I don't do it at all because I hate the feeling of it. Um, so I don't like being high, and, like, I don't smoke, I don't like smoking or anything like that. But, um... This was, like, when I was in 10th grade, I really, everyone, like, started to smoke then. I really wanted to, like, try, just, like, see what it felt like, you know? So, I'm not a bad person, because I don't do it. And I'm not saying that if you do it, you're a bad person. Okay, whatever. So, I'm a human, okay? I'm a girl. Let me live. So, it was me, my best friend, and then we were with two other boys who lived in my neighborhood. So, we went out to go, like, meet up with them, because they had the weed, and they had the bowl, and they had the lighter. They had everything that we needed to do it for the first time. So... We went over to them, and it was, like, really windy out, so every time they tried and light it, the wind would, like, knock the whatever out. So when it was my turn, well, my friend went first, and then when she went, it was my turn, and I was like, okay, I'm really nervous. So what I was going to do is, like, kind of fake it and, like, not actually inhale it, because I didn't know how to smoke. Like, I had no idea what to do or anything like that, so I remember, like, they had to, like, cover the the hole for me and like I just literally like sucked in because I didn't know what to do so they passed me the bowl and then I like sucked it in I didn't inhale it like into my lungs or anything I literally just kept it like in my mouth and I took the smallest little hit you could possibly imagine like literally it was so small I don't I don't think I even did anything it was like and that was it like it was nothing right so I blew it out and I was like okay I'm done like I don't want to do it again like I'm done like I was scared and I didn't want to do it again and like now like I don't like it like I don't like it at all so I just don't do it but um at the time obviously I wasn't high because you normally don't get high your first time and also I didn't even like take a hit like it didn't, I didn't even inhale it or anything so I really didn't like it um so I didn't get high at all at all at all at all but my mind like made me think that I was high even though I knew that I wasn't so me and my friend we like went back home we went downstairs to my couch and we just like hung out watched a movie like chilled she fell asleep and I was up all night you guys I felt like I disappointed my viewers I was like they know I just did this and now they're gonna think I'm a terrible person I started crying my eyes out. I was like I'm such a bad person for doing this like my parents are gonna be so upset with me my subscribers are gonna know that I just smoked weed like they're gonna disown me they're gonna hate me I started bawling my eyes out I was so upset my friend woke up she's like what's wrong I'm like my subscribers like they know and like they hate me I was so such a mess and I was completely sober like nothing was wrong with me I always have just had the most guilty conscious of everything like I can't do anything without feeling guilty about it like literally anything if I do one thing wrong I always come clean I'm always like yeah I did I'm really sorry and I just I don't know like I can't keep anything to myself I have to always say what's on my mind I like totally wear my heart on my sleeve like I don't know every emotion that I have like you can see it on my face so I felt super guilty when I smoked weed for the first time because I literally thought that I disowned you guys and I thought that you guys would hate me but you guys never knew until I just told you but I still don't smoke because I don't like it. Anyway, so if you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I really hope you guys did like this kind of video where I'm like sitting down, talking to you guys, because I don't think I do these enough, and I feel like I kind of don't have like a huge connection to y'all sometimes, so I really want to improve on that and like let you guys know that I'm like an actual person. 
under makeup and stuff and under all the hair touching because I literally know how much I touch my hair and I know how annoying that was. Love you guys all so much. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and on Twitter if you guys want. Um, it's all right here. It's all linked down below. So yeah, I love you guys all so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.